Hey, it is Larry Sharp here, and it's a little bit after, well, actually right at 8 p.m. on the East Coast, and I have a very special talk and update that I want to bring up to a lot of people who've been asking me, okay, Larry, we didn't do like we wanted to do in 2022, so what's next? What are we going to do now? What's the next step? How do we fix what needs to be fixed or make the next step or whatever? What do we do now? It's a tough question to answer, 100%. And I've been thinking about it for a while, as you can imagine. And I've been talking to my team about it for a while, as you can imagine. You guys know me well enough that I'm too stupid to surrender or too stubborn or both, whatever. But that's just not what's going to happen. So we have to keep going in some way, shape, or form. And the first thing to remember is that the red wave didn't come. So some people said, ah, that's okay. The Republican Party will save us with the red wave. Um, that didn't come. And in New York State, to be, to be very forward with you, it was never going to come. I told you all that. People didn't believe me. The state's three to one Democrat to Republican. It's getting worse. And even though some people decided to vote Republican this time, that didn't last time, they didn't become Republicans. They were just pissed off Democrats. The second the Democrats either aren't as pissed off or bring somebody who's decent or Republicans screw up again, they're going to go right back to becoming Democrats again. So this is not a long-term solution at all. The red wave is not going to happen. And the biggest reason why a red wave didn't happen, this is for the entire nation, but for New York specifically, is there was no positive, there was no positive message, right? The message from the left was Republicans are evil. The message from the right was Democrats are evil. There was no, if you're on the left, you know, hope and change. If you're on the right, make America great again. That didn't happen this year, and it's not going to happen again, at least for the near future. So this state will go gold before it will go red. And that makes some people upset or crazy, but it's true. And I hope that more New Yorkers will get that. The state's going to go gold or or any other co color. Maybe it'll go light blue forward. Maybe. I mean, I guess it's possible. But it's it's not going red. You and I both know, if you're watching now or listening now, you know, that anyone who'd vote conservative, a whole bunch of them are packing up and leaving even more. So they're not going to vote anti-Democrat. That's just, it's not the answer. Unless they find some hope. They find something different. We've got to have a third party that actually works. Well, Larry, we have the conservative party and the working families party. Those parties are parasite parties and jokes. If you're part of them, I'm sorry. Your party's a parasite party and it's a joke. It doesn't exist. Well, Larry, your party's a joke. My party runs candidates. Theirs doesn't. So. At least we've, we've got that at least. So we have to stop moving for 2024 and 2026. We do not we do not have ballot access anymore in New York State. The Libertarian Party officially in New York State, meaning as recognized by the state, does not exist in New York State anymore. And the database that New York State has is now null and void and gone. So we don't even have a way to go back and grab those, those Libertarians who were registered as Libertarians in the past, which I think was almost 30,000. Those are gone. So a lot of negativity, I know. But difficult doesn't mean impossible. It means difficult. So let's realize that. And this message is for three types, I think, of people that you should, if you fall into one of these three buckets, you should care about this message. Number one, you care about third parties and independent parties in general. If you do, recognize something. In New York State, they don't exist anymore. Why does that matter? Not only for local, but not for the presidency, not for the governorship. This was the first time in 76 years in New York State there was not an independent governor candidate on the ballot. First time in 76 years, no independent candidate on the ballot. You can't get an independent candidate on the ballot in New York State for president in New York State, realistically. Well, why, Larry? They have lots of money. They do. But it's so hard to do that you're probably not even going to have an independent presidential candidate who's going to have 50 state ballot access, which means what are we stuck with? We're stuck with a not real campaign. What do I mean by that? It means that all you're going to get is Democrats bad, Republicans bad, back and forth, maybe for a generation until this country collapses if we don't find an independent body somehow to do something that makes sense. We have to do so. And to be clear, in New York State, this is for New York State, if you care about third parties, you should care about what I'm going to tell you. If you care about New York State, you should care about this. If you care about independent parties across the country, you should care about what I'm going to tell you. If you want a real campaign talking about real issues and not just other guy bad,
You should care about what I'm going to tell you. We have to get the, the third largest party in the country, the Libertarian Party, on the ballot in all 50 states. That has to be a goal. In New York State, that is almost impossible, but not impossible. To do it in New York State, we're going to have to have our presidential candidate, whoever that person is in 2024, get on the ballot first, and then second, get at least 130,000 votes or 2%, whichever is higher. That's what matters according to New York State law, and the odds of that changing are slim to none. We've tried, we've sued, we've lost again and again and again. Nine times we've lost. Odds are we're going to lose again if we try. So we're going to have to gonna deal with this. This is the mountain they have put in front of us. We have to climb it. Not easy, but it can be done. To do it, it takes two phases. Phase number one, we have to be able to get at 45,000, excuse me, 45,000 valid signatures across New York State in at least 500 of them in at least half of the congressional districts and a bunch of other crazy things we have to do. So many things. Can we do it? Yes. I got my butt kicked and many of you who are right next to me, you got your butt kicked right next to me last uh, this year, this election. And we learned all the errors that we made and we can fix them. We need enough. We need to be able to hire the right vendors to get paid petitioners and the right captains to deal with volunteers and the right plan to set up early in case something fails. Can that be done? Yes. I want to start now. And I mean now. To do that, to, to make sure we get probably at least 60 or 70,000 signatures, is the only way we're going to be able to do it, is going to take half a million dollars. I'm not joking with that number. I know how much I spent this year. I know all the pain I went through. I know the debt I'm still paying off because of it. I know this. What does that mean? We have to raise half a million dollars by April 1st of 2024. That is not going to be an easy task, but we can do it. And here's how. Here's how. We do this by doing an 18-month commitment of $10 a month. That's correct. If we had enough people to do 10 bucks a month for 18 months, We'll be able to do two parts. Phase one, get enough signatures to get our presidential candidate on the ballot and then have a decent enough campaign in New York State to get 130,000, just 2%, 2% of the vote to have ballot access. Why does that matter so much? I'll make it clear. Number one, it matters so that, of course, we have a presidential candidate for the state ballot access. Number one, why does that matter? Are we going to win New York State? I obviously hope so, but the reality is, no, we're well, probably not, right? I'm being re realistic. I would love it. I hope it happens, but eh, probably not going to happen. However, here's what I can guarantee any independent, any independent candidate who's on our line, libertarian line in 2024. And right now, by the way, there are two presidential candidates who are talking about it or have already agreed to one, two of them, Mike Tremont and um, Chase Oliver, right? Mike Tremont has said he is running. Uh, Chase Oliver is considering running. So good for them. I love that. They're starting early. I hope somebody else will start early too. Everyone think about it. Please start early. It is awesome. I love that. Please do that. But they need to be on the ballot because here's what I can guarantee you. If we get ballot access, that, that person will get a quarter of a million votes just out of New York State. Why? There's no other independent party in this state. You'll get all the, I don't care about the two big guy parties. And I will be spending all of my time here in 2024 trying to get those votes for that presidential candidate. So there are three things we must do. One, 10 bucks a month for 18 months. Two, I will be beginning my full sharps yet again. This will be the sixth one. I'll be starting it next month. And then the, the, one at, the year after will be my seventh one. I'll do it. I'll be covering the entire state yet again. And when I cover the state again, if you can physically be there and put your butt in a chair, show up. If you can show up, please show up when I start doing the full sharp again this year. If it comes in your area and you can find the time, show up. It matters. Third thing, share this stuff everywhere. 
when you see we're doing stuff, when you see people are running for office and people are running in 2023 here in New York State, when people are doing things, when I'm out there running around, share it everywhere. And not just share it on social media, please share it on social media, but also share it with local press. Also share it with local press. So am I about out here asking you for stuff again? I am. But as always, I'm not going to ask anything of you that I don't ask myself. I'm not going to point my finger at you until I point it at myself. The failures of this year are on my shoulders. I accept that. My shoulders. So I'm going to try to fix it. That's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm back at it again. And I'm going to try to fix this if I can. And I'm going to be out there doing the same stuff I'm doing. I'm not going to stop. I'm asking you to give me one of three. If you can give me all three, that's awesome. But at least one of three, I know you can do. Either give me 10 bucks a month for 18 months. One, if you can do it, great. If you're already doing it, awesome. You're good. Some of you are already doing that. Thank you. If you're not, if you're not doing it, please do so. If you can do more, if you're in a good spot, you can give 25, 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Please do that if that's the place you're in. I know a lot of us aren't in that place, but if you are, please do so. If you can't do that, great. You know what you can do? Show up when I'm out there. When I'm out there doing events, show up. Put your butt in that seat, buy a Coke or a beer or have a sandwich or whatever is the thing, wherever I am. Go there and sit in that seat because people showing up matters. It gets other people believing it. So show up. Larry, I can't show up. Okay, great. Then share this stuff everywhere. Every time you see me out there, but not just me, when you see other candidates in 2023, when they're doing stuff, when they're out there, share like this, no tomorrow. Go out of your way to your, to your people upset and mad at you. Do it anyway. And share it with any media contacts you have every single time. Email them or call them or text them or whatever is the way. DM them on Twitter, whatever is the way. Let them know we're doing stuff. They can't believe that we're down. They've got to believe that we're still out there doing stuff. I mean that for 2023, because in 2024, we have to focus completely on our presidential candidate. I might go, Larry, but I was considering running in New York State in 2024. If you're in New York State in 2024, please don't run unless you're running for president of the United States. That is my request of you for 2024. 2023, please run. Oh my God, please run. If you can run, please. If you can run, if you can get out there and do it, please run. That's amazing. Please do so. 2025, if we if we have ballot access, you could run as libertarian if you want to. That's awesome. Please do that. That would be great. But 2024, let us focus in New York State. Now, if you're outside New York State, there's different rules in your state. Do what you got to do in your state. I'm talking my state. In New York State, please only focus in 2024 on the presidential candidate. Because that is the only way we get ballot access to prop us up for 2025. And also, 2026. One more lesson that I have learned the hard way, and many of you were right there next to me when you saw it happen. It is virtually impossible for an independent candidate to run for governor and try to get ballot access. That's virtually impossible. Most of you complained. Larry, your campaign wasn't as good as it was in 2018. You're right. In 2018, I didn't have to worry about ballot access. I had a team that was able to do it, and it was a whole lot easier, and they got it done. I did almost nothing in 2018. I did a little bit, but almost nothing in 2018 to get ballot access. All the money that I raised, all the time I had, went right into the campaign. This time, 90% of it went right into ballot access, and we lost it. So I had nothing, and I had people who didn't care, and I wasn't the ballot, and the and the press ignored me. I was on a ballot in 2018. The press was all over me. This time they ignored me. We can't do both. There is not a realistic chance of us having a governor candidate that can make impact in 2026 if they don't already have ballot access from 2024. So this, yes, I'm back to another damn four-year plan. So what? That's our plan. The plan is to start raising money Cross the state in 2023, supporting the local candidates who are running in 2023. Then in 2024, shoving everything we have in 2024 on our presidential candidate, every dollar, every hour, every time, everything in 2024 to get ballot access, to open us up, to support those local candidates again in 2025 with their mayors and whatever, so all the candidates in 2025, and then have a home run campaign in 2026 that makes real impact 
and puts a real third party in New York State, a real libertarian party in New York State on the map in perpetuity. Because once we are able to cross twice, we are literally unstoppable. I'm not joking. Once we get a quarter million votes two or three times, we're unstoppable. But Larry, they'll change the rules. They could. It's possible. But at that level, at that level, but at change those rules, they will have to literally outlaw the other two, the, all parties except the other two, which they could do. But at least that lawsuit, we might win, right? That one, we might win. So we got a shot at that if we do that right. So again, I want to be clear. The goal has to be for us to get ballot access in 2024 so that we have ballot access in 2026. We get ballot access for 2024 to support our presidential candidate. So that also, hopefully, the candidate does well enough that that name recognition helps and then supports all candidates again in 2025. That is our hope. 2023 helps to build 2024. 2024 hopes that have even more impact in 2025 sets us up for 2026. This is the way I think it has to work, right? I think this is the right answer to make this work. If we can do it, it will help tremendously. Focus local 2023, specifically president 2024, local again 2025, government 2026. I think this can actually work to keep a third party that will never leave. And I mean that realistically, never leave. We're going to do that. $500,000 by April 1st, 2024. That is how we were to hire the right captains to run our volunteers, to create also to uh, get the right vendors, of course, now to take care of all our pay petitioners so that we can get at least 60, if not 70,000 uh, signatures across the state so that we can make sure we can win and have money left over for the lawsuits that will inevitably happen anyway. We, they will still sue us anyway. So we have to have lawsuits prepared for that also, pay our lawyers and to, get, to get back out there and make sure that we actually win this damn thing. That gets us ballot access. Then the last little bit is, of course, enough of us out there running around to get our president candidate to get uh, 2% of the vote. Now we have ballot access. 2025, we get people running for mayor and for city council and all the cool things we need. 2026, we have a gubern gubernatorial candidate that will just knock this out of the park. That's what I want us to do. It can be done. Three things I need from you. Number one, if you're not already doing at least 10 bucks a month, please do 10 bucks a month. It does matter. Please do it. If you can do it for 18 months, that's what I'm asking you. I'm asking you for an 18 month commitment all into 2024. 18 month commitment into 2024 so that we can make sure we raise enough money so we can actually make this happen. If you say, Larry, I got it. I'm good already. Awesome. You're good. If you can give more, please give more. If you can, if you can't, no worries. All good. No worries. If you can. Next piece, every time you see me running around, I'm going to be doing another another full sharp this year, as uh, next year I should say, as I do all every year. When you know I'm going to be close to you, please show up. Put your butt in that chair. It does matter. People see it. Please show up and put your butt in that chair. It does matter. Buy a Coke or a beer or whatever the thing is. Do it show up if you can. If you can't show up, you can't get the cat. I got you. That's okay. Then share every single event, but not just my events. Other people are running in 2023. Chris Fiscali's running here in New York City. People are running all over the place. Share all their stuff. If it's New York State based, share it everywhere, but not just on social media. That's important, but also in the actual regular media, the mainstream media. Email it, DM, whatever, call, text anyone you know in the media. Hey, this person's doing an event. This person's running for office. Pay attention. It does matter. If we do that, We'll have a real third party by 2024 and 2026. We'll have a real presidential election be great. And we'll have real campaigns for change in New York State. Otherwise, what is going to happen is exactly the same thing that's been happening. Republicans are not going to win statewide elections in this state. That's a fantasy. I know people are mad about it. I told you that. You didn't want to hear me. It's fine. That's all. That's behind us now, right? The Republicans are going to lie to you again and go, oh, this is the year. It's not the year. It's never the year. The year is done. It's not going to happen. But Zeldin did great. Zeldin did great because Hochul was terrible. And the people who, and if, if the Republicans couldn't win this year, they can't win. Every one of you listening who lives in New York State knows someone who's left and more are leaving. So that's not going to happen. This is our answer. I hope you will get behind me. 
Let me grab a couple of comments. Please do so if you can. As I always ask you, like, comment, share. Do your 10 bucks, LarrySharp.com slash donate. If you're already doing your 10 bucks, you're good. Thank you. If you're doing more, please don't change your 10. Stay if you're doing more, please. You're good already. You are, you are set. Thank you so much. Keep that going. If you haven't yet, do 10 bucks. I know for some of you, that's cash. I get it. I know. I understand. We have to. Please. If you say, Larry, I just can't. Okay, no worries. You can't. Then I'm going to ask you, when you can show up. When you can, show up. Go out of your way. Cancel stuff. Put your butt in a seat. It does matter when I'm out there doing it. And if someone else is running in 2023, support that libertarian or that third-party candidate. Show up in their seat instead. Right? Or mine. Either one. But show up in a seat. Larry, I can't do either. Okay. You can share everything that is campaign-related for me and or anyone running in 2023. Share it everywhere, not just online. But in the media, it does matter. Let me grab some comments if I could. A lot of you guys commenting, and I do appreciate all the comments. I really do. So, all right. Um, let's see here. Uh, Shelly says, creepy sign. Can't wait for the laugh. The reason why I put the sign out, I was teasing, right? I don't want us standing around. That's why, Shelly. That's why I put that sign, no loitering. I don't want us standing around. I want us doing stuff. That's why I put that sign. And I'm trying to be someone who's telling you, here's what I think you should do. So I, I hope. You'll decide that what I'm saying makes sense, and I hope you'll go out and do it. That's what I want you to do. I, I really hope that we will be able to do that. So, yes. Nate says, Republican Party is useless for statewide elections in New York State. It's true. Look, the Republicans win locally. They do. It happens, right? Republicans do win locally. I know people are saying, but they did so well, and they won the Senate. They did so well because of gerrymandering and dist redistricting in New York State this year. It's not because Republicans were so great. There was no message. But, yes, locally, Republicans win. I'm talking about statewide election. I'm being very specific. It is, yes, it's statewide elections. Yes. Sean said, I was a, I was a pissed off libertarian, but you're right, I'm not a Republican. I I, I know we want to do that. Yes. Christopher, hey, Chris Scott, by the way, running here in New York City. So please, if you are a city person and you can show up at one of his events, if you can support him, please do so, right? This is not my point. 2023, we've got a lot of people running. If we can do it, let's do that, right? Yes. Uh, he goes on to say, that's why the duopoly needs to end. Democrats, Republicans are two parts of the same broken system. Yes, absolutely. So um, new runner 91 says we need ranked choice voting. You know, to be full with you, that's what the only way that works is if someone like me, someone like Christopher, gets some fire and they pay attention. Otherwise, we're not getting it. That's how we get it. By people like us getting out there and talking about it constantly. And I do all the time. You guys know I do. So yes. Andrew, hey, Andrew. Andrew says the Board of Elections is not person roles yet. Oh, great. Good. I didn't know that. They're supposed to. So I hope they forget. I didn't forget I said anything. They won't do it. I, I hope so. Yes. I appreciate that. So um, Rocket, uh, Rocket Man, Rocky Matrix says, restore ballot access rules. I want that to be true. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we have to keep pushing with what we got. I would love to change it, but I just tried it. Yes, absolutely. So um, Andrew says, um, if New York State pretty much killed off the LP, does the party or candidates still have to abide by campaign disclosure laws? Um, depends, right? Um, you want to really talk to a specific lawyer about this, but as a general rule, you are an independent candidate. If you are part of an independent body, you are not considered an independent party. And in New York State, those are two separate issues. You can be in, you can be a political organization or a political party, and there are different rules for each. So you would have to follow the political organization rules. But yes, there are laws you have to absolutely and disclose. Yes, and to be forward, excuse me, I submit everything. Any donation you give to me to my campaign is public, so you can see what we're doing with the money. It's right there. I have a treasurer. He submits reports. I think every. Every three months? I forgot. Every X number of months, whatever it is. So yes, you can see that. So in the case of that, if you remember, some of you may remember, the rules used to be $44,000. Those rules have changed as, as of the 9th. The rules are now $9,000. So Andrew, I know you probably wanted to write me a check for $10,000, and I appreciate that, but don't get me in trouble. We're going to follow the rules and only $9,000. So yes, the rules did change. Good question. They did change. 
So now the maximum you can give is $9,000 for an individual. But if you want to do a family, you can go higher, right? You can go higher. So the family rules are a little bit weird, but you can go higher. Don't worry about it. You can't, you can't, you realistically, I don't think anyone can go too high. If you go too high, I'll give you money back, but it's fine. Yes. Paula says the LP across the nation, I think needs to do a better job of differentiating themselves from the GOP. Don't know if that's the case for New York. I don't know too many people who might vote LP, but it seems like they cannot differentiate between us and the Republicans, that they think they're just copying the GOP and stealing their votes. This is a very valid point. This is a very valid point. And most of this is not our, our doing. Most of it is mainstream media's doing. Many Republicans call themselves libertarians, and then the mainstream media accepts that moniker and then calls libertarians too, right? They call people like Ben Shapiro a libertarian. He's not a libertarian. He calls himself one. He's not a libertarian. But he calls himself one, and the media does. Well, if Ben Shapiro calls himself a libertarian, and everyone believes it, that's our problem. So our issue is we don't have enough. And that's the second piece of this. This is separate, but I think also important. And I'm not asking you to support this other part. You guys know I have the sharp way. And I go out of my way to, to, put, to start to create a libertarian media space. Right? You guys know that I do libertarians drinking coffee live at least once a week. And I put a libertarian on. I didn't do it when I was running because when I'm running, it's about me when I'm running. But when I'm not running, it's about everybody else, right? So the three years in between my first and second run, I, I put over 100 Libertarian candidates on my show because I was just supporting candidates. When I was running, it was about me. I'm not running anymore. So now I'm supporting Libertarian candidates and I will have Libertarian candidates on my show at least once a week, if not more. So we don't have that. And that's our problem, Polo. If you saw during the last election, every, every day on Fox News, Republicans are on, on uh, Fox News and an MSNBC Democrats are on every day, CNN Democrats on every day. So they have a space for their candidates. We don't have a space for our candidates. So I'm trying to build that space. The more popular that I can get, the more access I will give. Those of you who know me, I give access to my whatever, whatever little, you know, forum that I have, I give access to everybody on my forum because I do believe that's important. We have to take over our narrative. The problem is we're not heard. That's the issue. So, yes. Um, let's see here. Um, Andrew says, uh, thank you, Andrew. He has uh, an answer. Political bodies, even if independents, need to file a campaign finance disclosure. The LPNY did this before we have ballot access. Yes, I do too, right? I, I, I've been, I always disclose because you never know. I just do it all the time. So yes. Um, Desiree says, I'm not giving up. This is my political home. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Steve Becker says, I'm in doubt. Thank you. Yes, every dollar counts. Thank you so much. 100%. Yes, absolutely. So Kevin says, we do this by selling novel t-shirts that promote the, the revival that's occurring. Um. Look, if if those of you you want to support by buying T-shirts and stuff, that's amazing. You know, I have the cool hat. Don't give up New York hat. If you want to pick, pick that up, you can head over to Zazzle, right? Or go to ladershop.com and click shop. I have the the Don't Give Up New York shirt. That's great. A, a hat. I have the the the, the Larry Sharp, you know, um, for governor shirts. I've got all different types of shirts. Like, don't blame me. I bought a Larry Sharp shirt. So if you want to buy some cool merch, go ahead. Absolutely, Kevin. It's a great idea. What I'm asking for, though, is ongoing, right? I, I don't want to ask you, Kevin, or anyone else who cares to okay, go, hey, can you please write me a check for 500 bucks? That's a lot to ask of you. If you happen to have 500 bucks, Kevin, that you can give me, please write me a check for 500 bucks. That'd be amazing. But that's a big ask. So I'd rather ask you for 10 bucks a month. That, for some people, is a stretch, but it's something that we can all do. And I know that there are at least a couple thousand of you who could do that. If a couple thousand of you do it, we will make our money. We make that money, we get ballot access. How do I know, how do you know that I'll spend the money on that? It's public. That's why I'm asking you not to go through Sharpway, which will be private. I'm asking you to go through LarrySharp.com, which to Andrew's point is public. You can see it. You will know exactly what I'm doing. It will be right there. You can check it out and see where the money's going. So that's what we want to do. That's why I'm asking you to go through this route. It is a, a public route you can see. You all have seen me do it before. It's been open for literally years, since 2017. So you can all see what I've been doing with the cash. It's right there. So when this is why I'm asking that. If you want to buy a shirt or hat, I love that. I wear the, the I still wear the Larry Show for Governor shirt and, and, and stuff all the time. I still wear uh, the hat. This is Don't Give Up New York. So I love that. Absolutely. But whatever's going to work, Kevin, whatever makes you happy. Yes. 
Some user says, very good points, Larry. Yes, the time is now to form plans as I work for 2024. I agree. I have made lots of errors. I have lots of regret. The way I thought about things and the way I, things that I did, I made errors. Most of them were trusting in the system too much. I know it sounds horrible, but there's a level of trust I had in the system, which was, as I look back, silly. Um, trust in certain people also. That was more desperation. I didn't have enough bodies, so I trusted in people I probably shouldn't have trusted in. But there was more desperation at that point because there weren't enough people to to help. So I think in that regard, some of that was was that too. But we have to start early. This is a this is a four year campaign for 2026, a two year campaign for 2024. We have to make this happen. It is it is not realistic for us to have a governor race in 2026 if we don't already have ballot access. We've got to gain it in 2024. To make that happen. So thank you. Yes. Um, Joe says, Larry, I want you to be my mayor. I appreciate that, right? Look, could I run for mayor of New York City? I could. If we get ballot access in 2024, I could run in 2025. There we go. Somebody will, and we should support that person. Just not in 2024. We should support all the candidates in 2023, all of them in 2025, 2024, laser focused on the one thing that matters, because here's what I guarantee you, what I guarantee you, New York State Republicans in particular, but Democrats will help, will be going out of their way to make sure we do not get battle lessons in 2024. The, the Republican Party in New York State knows one thing. We are better than they are. And that sounds terrible. We're better than the Democrats too, but Democrats are in power, so they don't care. To be forward, we're better than both. But Democrats are solidly in power. We're a joke to them. The Republicans were not a joke. They'll tell you the whole time, you guys, you're a stupid joke. That's why you dropped $100,000 suing me only in civil court to throw me off the ballot because I'm a joke. That's why you fought me and stabbed me in the back uh, it, uh, right before, uh, sorry, right, right before petitioning time because I'm a joke. No, no, I was a serious threat. That's why you did it. I learned my lesson, right? I get my butt kicked, but I learned my lesson. That won't happen again. So we can't make this happen. They will fight us, but we can stop them, right? The, the best part, I hope, is they figure it out and just join us. It'd be a whole lot better. So anyway, um, Joe says, but Larry, won't the National LP donate all those funds to get ballot access? Yes, just not for me, Joe. They will, but for somebody else. But yes, as you notice, I'm not concerned about that. National will do national. I am worried about New York State. That's what I'm worried about. 2024, New York State. That's what I'm worried about. So yes, absolutely. James says, part of the solution is the LP needs to run a real candidate for president who can be taken seriously, not just someone who, while understands the philosophy, but is known outside the LP. I agree, right? My, my perfect candidate is someone who, by the time 2024 comes around, is popular. That is my, that's my goal, which is why I'm not supporting anybody yet. Again, I'm going to clear two people are either running or have some interest in running at the moment. That is Mike Tremont. You can check him out. Uh, Tremont is T-E-R-M-A-A-T. That's how he spells his last name. And Chase Oliver. And yes, Oliver like the name Oliver. So those two people are either are running or have shown interest. I am happy. I hope anyone else who's considering running follows their lead and ju jumps in early because this will take time. And they have to be popular, James, to your point. By the time 2024 comes around, you know, if they haven't raised money, if they aren't on TV, I'm not just talking trash. And some of you may remember this. In 2018, if you were around, I came to the Libertarian Party of New York's convention with six figures already raised and a press reel. I had already been in the press and I'd already raised six figures and a full team on board when I showed up. Why would I do that? Two reasons. One, in New York State, there's always a chance that some celebrity steps up and goes, I think I want this. And I was afraid that one might do it and then scale libertarians into voting for them and not me. That was my worry. So I said, I got to come there ready to go in case there's some, you know, Howard Stern shows up or something like he did you know, 20 years ago and it's check off the party. So I had to be ready in case that happened, right? So that was reason number one. Reason number two, I want to practice what I preach. How am I going to point my finger at somebody else again if I don't point it at myself? Right? I got it. Right? This, this year when I came, to the, to the convention, I had already raised six figures and already had a press reel from the last four years. So I'll, already I came to, to play. 
I believe that whoever we pick, to your point, James, you are exactly correct. Whoever we pick as the LP president nominee needs to have already raised at least half a million dollars before the convention. At least already raised a half a million dollars and has a team in place and has already been in the press. If they check all those boxes, in my view, that person can be, again, my opinion. She does not, should not be a rule. This is my personal view. I hope you all agree, but there should not be rules on this. The delegates should vote for whoever they think is correct. But my opinion is if you don't have that my, that baseline criteria, we shouldn't make you uh, the nominee. To your point, already have a press reel, raise half a million dollars, have a team. If you have those three things, you are now eligible. That's your baseline to get our nomination. Again, that is only my opinion. Rules should not, we shouldn't change rules for that. Delegates can vote who they want. I hope they choose to adopt my ideas. That is what I hope. So yes. All right. Um, let's see if I can go here. Um, Michelle says, uh, there are some libertarian Congress people I thought. No, there were, right? There was one, Justin Amash. He has stepped down since then. So there are now no libertarians in, in at the federal level at all. But there was one and it was Justin Amash. He has stepped down. So yes. All righty. Um, Joe says, there's a guy named Lars already declared. Oh, I didn't know that. According to FEC website, it's hundreds filed. Um, okay. Um, I need Lars to be more forward then. Uh, good. I'm glad he has. Let's get more, Joe. I was unaware of that. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Is that, uh, now I do remember that. He's actually, maybe, you know what? I guess he isn't popular enough for me to remember. But yes, and now I do remember that you say that. You're right. You're right. Thank you. That's good. All right. Um... Joel says, Gary Johnson was a great candidate. He got slammed by the duopoly-loving media. I love Gary Johnson. He brought me into the party. But to be forward, he he wasn't the best that we've had. Mm, it's not true. We could have had better is what I'll say. There we go, yes. But he did the best he could. I think he really did the best he could. He fought really hard. Um, I, I would take him in a heartbeat if he came back. I love him. But I think we can do even better. That's That's what I'll say. But no, no shade to Gary Johnson, four and a half million votes, more than anyone's ever gotten. 3% of the vote higher than we've ever gotten. So raise the most money, I think 13 million. I think, I, mean, I think 13 million, raise $13 million, the most that anyone's ever raised as a libertarian. I mean, obviously, so no shade to Gary Johnson. I hope we can double and triple what he did. That'd be amazing. So yes. So, all righty. Um, let's see here. Home equity tap. I don't know who that is, but thank you. Larry, the legend. We are blessed to have you in our corner. Oh, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Yes. Um, a Facebook user says, Larry, I will follow you into battle anywhere and consider my donat donation continued until 2024. Thank you. But I fear that the Libertarian Party may not have the unity to make a legitimate presidential run. Um, that is a valid fear. It is. It's a valid fear. However, I think that we have an opportunity to bring back what Home Equity Tap said. Um, no, I'm sorry. No, no. Um, Joel says, or Joel said, the good thing that Gary Johnson did is that really he, more than anyone in recent history, united the party. There were a lot of people behind Gary Johnson, people who were on the radical side, not so radical side. And they were like, you know what? We'll deal with him. He was good enough. He wasn't dividing, divisive in that regard. Bill Weld obviously was, but Gary Johnson wasn't. So that was a good thing. I'm hoping we can do that again. I'm hoping whoever runs, whoever gets the, the nomination is able to do that. That is another hope I have that they can unite us and say, you know what? It's not perfect. Oh, she's not perfect, but she'll do. We'll get behind her so that we can get, you know, ballot access for certain states. I, I hope that does happen, but it's a valid fear. It's a valid fear. Yes. So, all righty. Um, so I'm going to Kathy says, uh, because of the dangers of, sh of sheeple's choices, better to have a libertarian at the helm, leave, leaving us the H alone than anything else. Agreed. Agreed. Absolutely. Yes. All righty. Um, see if I can grab a couple of these here. Wow, so many. Uh, Christopher goes, Chase Olive is an interesting candidate uh, who recently gained some national attention for forcing a runoff in the Georgia senatorial race. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, Chris goes on to say, Spike Cohen and Justin Amash got options. 100%. Yes, I just want some that's popular. Just be popular and have raised money by the time 2024 comes around. There could be some guy who's vir virtually unknown, maybe Lars, vir virtually unknown. But if he can make it happen by 2024, I'm in. He's got two years, year and a half. I'm in, right? That's what I want. Yes. 
Sam says I'm going to do all three things. Sam, thank you so much. We need it. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. Desiree says, I'm not in New York, but I share libertarian stuff on social media. I appreciate that completely. It is very important. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Belinda says, Libertarian Party needs some love. This is true, Belinda. You're right. It does. It does need some love, but we're we're on our way. We're on our way. Yes. All right. Samuel says, I was unable, I wasn't able to go to any events during Larry's run for governor. How was turn out those events? Generally speaking, 2018 was far better, right? 2022 didn't have as much because several reasons. Some of you don't know this, but not only, not only did um not only did we not have enough money to spend, social media has been devastating me for years, which is why I'm considering changing social media that I use because if shadow bans me so much. So people didn't know I was out. People couldn't find it. So it was far less than it was in 2018. Generally speaking, I struggle the most in North Country. I go to North Country. Sometimes I go to an event. I'll get two, three people. That's it. I mean, few. There's, it's very red. There are a few people. And if people aren't, if social media isn't working for me, nobody even knows I'm there. So North Country has been toughest. Sometimes only two, three people. Western New York tends to be my best. I tend to get 10, 15, 20 people. I tend to get more people there this this time. 2018, I got 50 people, 40 people, 100 people. I mean, I, I got we had three or four rallies. We had three, four, 500 people. So it was it was good in 2018, much lower in 2022. And it was because lack of money and lack of social media. So hopefully we can fix that, which is why I bug you, Samuel. Please, please show up and share to the best of your ability. Morgan says, bad wax, this is the goal. Yes, thank you for being clear on that, Morgan. You are correct. I don't want people to think, Larry, are you promising that we're going to win a presidency in 2024? I am not. I'm not. Obviously, I hope we do. Crazy things happen. I hope we have a libertarian president in 2024. That'd be amazing. I am not promising that. That's not even the goal that I'm shooting for. If that happens, awesome. I will jump for joy. That'd be amazing. The goal that you and I, I hope, are on the same uh, trip is to get at least 60,000, if not 75,000, 60,000 at least signatures in New York State by mid May of 2024 so that we can survive any lawsuits and be on the ballot in November of 2024. To make that happen, we have to raise half a million dollars by April 1. We can do that if we are liking, commenting, sharing donating 10 bucks a month for 18 months and showing up when possible. Once we do that, that will carry over into 2024. And if we focus 100% on 2024 on that president candidate, we will get our 2%. We will get our 2%. Uh, so yes, ballot access is the goal. Again, I hope we win the state. I hope everything goes great. That'd be amazing. That's not what I'm promising. That isn't the goal. And this is pass or fail. It's pass or fail. If we don't get 2%, we fail. If we get it, we're in the ballot. So yes, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Andrew says, running candidates for down ballot seats on the state level, Assembly, Senate, and Congress helps gather signatures for statewide candidates. Um, it depends upon where that is. As you know, Andrew, New York City, that's not always true. Because if it is within New York City, um, if it is within New York City, then it has to go to the city, not to the state. So that's not always true. There are many assembly districts, Senate districts, and congressional districts that are only in New York City. And it's about half of them. So that isn't always true. About 50% of the time, that's true. 50% is not true. The other issue is, to be forward with you, Andrew, I know that many people in the Libertarian Party believe that to be true. I don't. I don't want to spend one minute on any other candidate in 2024, not 2023, not 2025. In 2024, I don't want to spend one minute, one dollar on any other candidate except the presidential candidate. Because anything that anyone else does because of New York state law, not because of me, because of New York state law, if our presidential candidate, presidential candidate does not get the votes, there's no ballot access for 2025 or 2026. And that's what I care about. So I know people disagree with me. That's fine. I just, in my view, this is what I think we should do. This is what I'm pushing for. 2023, support every local candidate possible. 2025, do so. 2024, no, don't spend one minute, don't spend one dollar, don't spend any time on any other candidate in New York State. I want to be clear, not outside, other states have other rules and regulations, do what you feel is probably in your state. In New York State, 
in 2024, whoever is that candidate, if it's Chase Oliver or Mike Tomato, whoever it is, Lars, whatever, whoever it is, every single minute, every single cent should be spent on that candidate. That is my view and I stand by it. I know people disagree. That's where I stand. Nothing on anybody else in 2024 except for that candidate. Because any dollar, any hour spent not on them is a wasted hour or dollar because if that other person even wins the seat, we don't get ballot access. And they'll then lose their seat later. I read it, Larry. Every place else we last uh, this year, we lost the seats. We're building for the future. I don't care about individual win in 2024. 2023, I do. 25, I do. Not 2024. I disagree. Just my view. Andrew, I love you, brother. Do what you feel is appropriate. That is my view. So, yes. All right. Um, Sam says, Larry for the Papa sign Rochester with 30 to 40 ish people. Yes, I remember that. Yes. We had some decent ones. We did. We had some decent ones. It was good. So, all right. Um, where am I? Jay says, there's no such thing as valid politics. Consent, not permission. Is what validates an interaction. Stop letting the pursuit of pursuit. I'm not sure where you're going, Jay. I'm talking about what happens in New York State. You may be right in theory. I don't know. But we're being crushed in New York State. And your theory for us is irrelevant. I don't know if you're a New York, New York State person or not. If you are, I hope you see that. But theories are irrelevant. Um, what matters is what the state is doing to us now every day. That's what I care about. This, what you're talking about, may be true, but has no meaning or value to us in New York State right now. It just doesn't. So I don't know if you live in New York State, but that's how I feel. So, yes. All right. Um, Dwayne says, I'd love to see how this plan lines up with the LPMYs. I hope they're lockstep, Dwayne. I hope they are. Um, but see what Andrew says, they may not be. But I'm telling you what I'm doing. I think it's the right answer. Um, I hope you guys jump on board. I want you all to jump on board. I hope you do. It makes the most sense to me. It's what I'm going to pitch you guys in 2024 either way. So you'll tell me yes or no. But that's what I'm pushing. I think it's the right answer. So, yes. All righty. Um, let's see here. Um, where am I? Desiree goes on to say, yes, the outreach necessary, 100%. Yes. Belinda says, it's a struggle to be a third-party political member, but sometimes it's worth it. To me, it's always worth it. I'm proud of being a libertarian. I say it all the time. I wear it on my sleeve. I'm proud of it. Even though I get yelled at, even though I get dismissed, even though we fight each other all the time, even though we freaking troll each other all the time, I still like it. Um, I don't want to go someplace else. I don't. James says, I care and you know how to get a hold of me. I'm happy to help plan and attend a Western Central New York full shop tour. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Yes. Yes. We will be reaching out again coming up here. I'm probably going to start, I'm assuming March in that area. We'll start and do it all over again. Do it one more time. Absolutely. Yes. Um, let's see here. Um, Andrew says, yes, Gen Z gold, go gold, gold. I hope that's true. I feel like Gen Z is is un is unhappy in general. I hope they'll go gold. They might go forward. I don't really know, but I hope they will go gold. Yes. So, um, Joseph says, "Who would be a good president candidate?" I did bring that up. Is it possible you run or not considering? I do not want to run for president in twenty twenty four. That is not something I want to do. Uh, this beat me up badly. I don't want to do it again. Twenty twenty eight, maybe, maybe. I do not want to do 2024. I would, I, I would consider a VP slot because that's support, right? That is support staff basically for, for our presidential candidate in the Libertarian Party. The VP is basically a support staff. And so I'd be happy to volunteer for that if someone wants me on a, on a, on a, on a VP slot, but I do not want to go presidency. And I would only go if somebody wanted me. You don't want me. I'm fine. I'm happy. I'll, I'll just keep working in New York State. And push that forward and get quarter million votes for the president candidate here in New York State. I'm happy being the New York State rep or whatever that case might be. I'm happy doing that. So, yes. Um, Andrew says, petitioning in 2024 will occur before the National Convention. That's true. That's correct. Um, to, to Joseph's point, we will have to start petitioning prob probably, unless things change, mid-April of 2024. And will be done by mid-May. The Libertarian Party will not pick a candidate until... Uh, end of May, maybe even early June, depending upon when they do the convention. That's accurate. So with that in mind, we probably have the placeholder. I don't mind being a placeholder. If you think, because uh, how it works, those you don't know, um, I could run and officially run in New York State only. That's I would only be running in New York State. I wouldn't run anyplace else, just in New York State. And it would, I would, you, you can have a, you have a committee. I forgot how it works. I'm sure Andrew remembers how it works, where a committee has to replace someone if someone drops out. 
And if I were to drop out, there'd be a vacancy. They would replace it with the person who um, is the VP presidential nominee. So I, I'd, I'd find to do something like that. That to answer Joe's question for something like that, I'm fine to do that because I don't have to actually run. So that's fine. That I would be do. So that's possible. Hundred percent. Yes. All right. Um. Let's see here. Um. Kevin says, I want to be able to compete against other third party activists in order to wage a more effective culture war and form better front lines. It's not a bad plan. I mean, I think if you have multiple parties, you can create coalitions on specific cultural issues you care about. I think it's a great idea. I love the idea. Yes. 100%. So, um, Duane goes on to say, we only had 4,000 total signatures and even less valid in 2022. You think we're going to get double this in 2024 when the candidate is even picked until the bar after bit? Yes, I do. That's my plan, Duane. Yes. Yes. With half a million dollars? Yes. And a plan two years ahead? Yes. That's exactly what I think. I, I hope that answers your question. That is exactly what I think. Yes. I think if we plan this out, we will do so. Yes. So, yeah. All righty. Um... Go down here if I can. Um, Morgan says, Spectrum New News, New York One, you better be covering this. I hope so. <laughs> yes, I, I hope so. Yes, absolutely. That would be great. Yes. All righty. Um, let's see here. Uh, Christopher says, even if no one's caring, keep sharing because people see it and then at least they're aware. Agreed, agreed, and agreed. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Dwayne goes on to say, you would need 2,800 talent donations today to give 100,000 in 18 months. That's an improper target. Why not build a foundation and grow a movement? 2018 was an easier challenge. Yes, I'll, I'll tell you why. It's a great question. Um, because there are enough people who could do it. That's the reason why. There are enough people who can do it. 2,800 people can be done. Absolutely. There are 91,000 people who follow me on Facebook. 37,000 who follow me on YouTube. Um, 44,000 who follow me on Twitter, 25,000 who follow me on Instagram, um, and probably, we're getting a guess, 15,000 people who wrote me in, um, 30,000 registered libertarians prior to them purging us whenever. We just get 1% of those, 2% of those, 10% of those, and we can do it. It is an, it is, it's an achievable. If we get 10% of those people to do it, it's achievable, Dwayne. It is. And if I can't do that, then we can't make impact because we have to raise money. If we cannot raise, and if you're correct, I hope you're wrong, but maybe you're right. If we can't get a half a million dollars in two years or 18 months, if we can't get half a million dollars in 18 months, we're never going to do anything in this state. I raised half a million dollars in 2018 and again in 2022. If I can't do it, if we can't do it in 18 months, then why bother? The war's over. The war's over. They raised millions of dollars. The two big parties raised millions from their donors on a literally weekly or monthly basis. Millions, weekly, monthly basis. If we can't do it, then we don't deserve to win. I don't mean to be cruel about this, but I'm being forward. We have to be able to do this. We have to be able to do this. Because if we don't, if we do it this way, this is the only way that mainstream media will say, oh my God, they're valid. And when they're valuing, why do I care about mainstream media? Because people who watch mainstream media vote. That's why. And I want those votes. I want every single one of them. Yes, that's what I want. Yes. So I'm not saying it's easy. I've literally said it's not easy. Dwayne, I think you're right. It's hard. But I hope you're wrong. If you're right, in it's April 2024 and we screwed it up, I'll tell you you were right. You screwed it up. I screwed it up. I was wrong. But this is what I'm trying. It's the right answer to me. Grassroots is great. It is great. I'm not against it. But we've got to be able to fight the enemy on the right field. And I think we can do it. I think we can do it. That's that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm saying this. So, yes. All right. Um, Joseph says, I know you keep saying that Republicans can't win statewide elections. And I agree with you. But I don't see you getting nearly as many votes as Republican candidate. How's it possible that you win? That's not what I'm asking for. They, I'm glad Morgan brought it up. I'm not asking for me to win. I'm asking for us to get ballot access so we can grow local candidates in 2025 and, and then again in 2026. That's what I'm saying, right? Here's the issue that many, I'm, I don't mean to be mean to you guys in Republicans. I know many Republicans think this, but here's the reality. Whether you get 1% of the vote or 49% of the vote, it's a loss. This is a zero sum game, right? It doesn't, it doesn't matter, right? This is pass or fail, 
right? To, to, to get the power piece, right? So what? why am I caring? Because Republican Party already exists in this state and has infrastructure. The Libertarian Party doesn't. As we exist legally and have a better infrastructure, then we can keep growing. The Republican Party is shrinking. In case you don't know this, some of you may not know this, there are actually more um, vote, vote, voters in New York State registered as nothing or other than registered Republicans. Yes, if you count other, Republicans are the third largest party. Not even the second, the third. That's how bad it is here. And it's getting worse. So if you're on a Republican ship, it's a sinking ship. I hope our ship is not sinking. Maybe Dwayne's right and our ship has already sunk. It's possible. I hope not. I believe it's not sunk. And by April 1st of 2024, we will know whether our ship is sunk or not. So that's where my head is. I hope I answer your question at least. So yes. All right. Um, let's see if I can go down here. Um, Joe says, ranked choice voting is great. We need more than two choices. 100%. Yes. Absolutely. Um, let's see if I can go down and grab some more if I can. Um, wow. A lot of this stuff. Here. Thank you so much, guys, for this. Um, for so much stuff, we've, 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 we've put it there. Yes. Um, Dwayne says, why not donate to the LPNY ballot access fund? Why is it a large shop donation link? A little concerning as well. Um, you can go there too, if you want to. Not against that. Do you have a, you guys have a plan for 2024? Not against it. Yes. Here, here is the, the biggest issue. Um, third part is a general rule. I can't think of any other exception, actually are always pushed first by a personality and then by organization. I'm the personality in New York State. That's the issue. If that makes you upset. I'm sorry if it makes you upset. Still true, right? I'm the personality in New York State. Not across the country. There are many other more bigger personalities across the country. But New York State, I'm the personality for, the, for, the, for New York State. If we build this out effectively, there will then be an organization that will shift past me. That's how it will work. So that's the reason why. I hope that makes sense. I hope I answer your question at least. I know you disagree, Dwayne. I know you disagree with my entire plan. It's fine. I disagree. I'm, I'm going to tell you what I think. I think it's the right answer. That's the reason. So yes. All right. Let me see if I can keep going here. Um, Benjamin brings up term limits. I agree on term limits completely. Yes. I agree on term limits completely. Yes. Absolutely. So, oh, and by the way, on Dwayne too, um, a bunch of the money that I raised, I raised for the LP ballot access fund. So a lot of the money that I raised went directly to the ballot access fund. As I'm, I, I hope you know, you should know. And and as people get past my, as people move past my maximum of nine thousand, I'll be sending that over to you guys also. So I will be raising money also for the ballot access fund. I have some donors, as some of you know. Again, it's been obvious that will that will be able to spend more than nine thousand dollars. They have an, they have enough money that they will spend more than nine thousand dollars. I'll take nine, and then I'll spend I'll send the rest nine over to you guys, as I did last time. I did I did it this year too. So I'm not sure if you're to say concerning. You shouldn't be concerned, Dwayne. You know I send money to you guys. Stop. I raise money for you too. Stop being concerned. Um, all right, and see you go down here. Joe says, um, I was on Larry's show as a candidate. Yes, absolutely. I go out of my way. I try to do that. Absolutely. Um, Andrew says, Ben Shapiro supports mass surveillance state in the name of national security. Exactly. Not exactly a not exactly libertarian. Correct. Yes. Karen says, Rebecca Lau for governor. Run. Oh, my God, run. Do it. I love it. Go ahead and run. Yes. Joel says, libertarians attacking libertarians should stop. They're hurting the movement. All we do is internal stuff. We we troll all the time. And publicly. Publicly. We, you almost never see us just, like, DM each other. It's like, he said something. She said something. I've got to put everything on blast. And blah. It's the way. If you, if you don't like that, you're in the wrong part. It's the way we always do it. We always do it. So I just take them all on. I don't even bother hiding. I just take them all on. I don't like what you're doing, Larry. Fine. Let's just talk about it. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> yes. I don't even care. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, where am I? Um, this is, I just watched a video in 2020 about how to avoid shutting down. We wouldn't be in this mess now. Honestly. But yes, I agree. I've been saying that forever. Yes. Yes. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yes. Um, let me keep going here. Um, so many guys, I'm trying to grab as many can. They're coming in pretty fast. I appreciate that. Yes. Morgan says, what happens in New York is a predictor of what will happen countrywide. A hundred percent 
Yes, absolutely. That is correct. This is a piece that we want to keep going. Absolutely. Justin says, why not quarantine with the LP and wind this? Who says I'm not? Why do you guys think I'm not? The EC and SC is very clear that we envision something different in the near medium term, have sent out multiple releases, but absolutely no consolidation according with us. Why do you think I'm not? You think I'm just going to blow you guys off? Is that what you think? Whichever. I'm telling you what the right answer is for me. If you guys think I'm wrong, it's great. It's great. It's fine. Absolutely. So, all right. Um, Home Tip goes, uh, declare early in campaign, smart and strong. Oh, thank you. Uh, Michael DeLong says, it's Larry Sharp channel on Roku. I do have a Roku channel. That is true. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Um, grab a couple more of these. Oh, you guys all mad at me? Oh, I'm sorry. Now the, the, now the, the LPNY is mad at me. What, what else is new? Fine. You just be mad at me then. Fine. <laughs> it's fine. That makes sense. Be mad at me then. All righty, whatever. I'm still doing it. You can be mad at me, I guess. It's fine. You'll be mad at me and you'll yell at me. And whatever. That's good. <laughs> That's good. All right. Um, Thomas says, if the nominee can't raise money, get media, make voters see the D DNC and RNC serve the elite our expenses, running for president is a lost cause and waste of resources. Uh, Thomas, I agree. All right. We have to be able to raise money. We have to be able to do so. If we can't, why are we doing it? If we can't get media, why are we doing it? Agreed 100%. Yes. 100%. Absolutely true. I'm not counting on the uh, National Party. I hope they support us. I hope they do. I'm not counting on it. Um, I will be raised as much money as I can. Um, and I'll be pushing forward on all those things. And I'll be sending money to the LPNY, which I did this year too. They're all complaining yet. I sent them tens of thousands of dollars and they're still all complaining. I, I don't know why they're complaining, but whatever. They always, <laughs> they're always going to complain. It's fine. Yes, they're going to get money anyway. I'm not going to be mad at them. I'm just going to throw money anyway. Hopefully, they'll stop complaining, but maybe not. Maybe they'll take my money and still complain. Who knows? Anyway, I don't care. It's fine. We're still doing it. Christmas says, about Gary Johnson, he brought me to the party. I still have the Garrison t-shirt. I have a Larry Sharp long sleeve, too. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, I do love Gary Johnson. I still do. Yes, I still do. 100%. So, all right. Belinda says, oh, we have to raise funds for two years now. We can do it. I agree. Yes, we can do it. Jim says, Twitter let you talk. Yes, I've been growing on Twitter recently. I think that's true, right? Absolutely. Yes, 100%. Absolutely. So, um, Larry, uh, Larry, would you interview the three candidates we have running for Duval uh, for city council in 2023? Um, when you have a moment, either Twitter DM me or something else, if you like, um, let me know and I'll see if I can get them on. So yes, happy to do so. Absolutely. I'm happy to do so. Ryan says, this last election, I voted for every libertarian that was on the ballot. I just can't do the duopoly anymore. Duopoly reminded me of the two-headed fire-breathing dragon in the movie Willow. <laughs> I do like that. Yes. Juan says, my engagement on Twitter has definitely improved since Elon Musk has taken over. Yeah, maybe. Um, I think I, I think it has gone better. Facebook has not been good to me at all. And neither has YouTube. Has been good. Twitter's been pretty good to me. Um, even, even Rumble is actually being better, but it's kind of crazy. Yes, absolutely. So, all righty. Um, JX says, yeah, big deal. So you get the demo criminal elected again. No, thanks. Okay, they were getting elected anyway. They were getting elected anyway. That was going to happen anyway. So stop. You're making that up. That's, that's copium for you. That's copium for you. Absolutely. That's not going to work. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, let's see here. Benjamin says, honestly, I think finding famous people to run who share libertarian beliefs may be a strategy concern for the future. Look, if 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 they're libertarian enough, I'm not against the idea. The, the problem is to be forward, if you guys may or may not know this, people who are more famous or popular, they don't want to get into a race where they think they're going to lose unless they have some other thing they can gain, right? Why would someone like a, a Drew Carey, who happens to be libertarian, is very popular, particularly among the older crowd because he's been doing the, the daytime show for years. Why would he want to run, right, for president or governor or whatever? Because if he loses, he has to take a public L. People don't realize that when you lose at a level like that, governor or president, it's public. And people 
crap on you for literally years afterwards over it. Gary Johnson gets crapped on for years. I get crapped on for years after it. And a lot of them don't want to do that. So I agree with you in theory. It's a great theory. But then how do you get someone? What people also don't realize is when you get someone to do something like this, they have a personality. They have they have an ego. They have all these things for you to do something like this. Me too, by the way, which is why people get mad at me. Larry, you have an ego. Yeah, I do this. That, yes, that's correct. Yes, you can get up and do this if you want to. I don't see you doing it. So yes, it's true. So you have that. And a lot of people don't want to put up with the L. It's a tough thing to take. And also hard to work with people like that, right? It's difficult, right? It's not easy to work with somebody with an ego. It's not a simple thing to do. It's, it's difficult. So who wants to handle that? So you have... They're the right handlers who aren't sycophants, which is hard to find people who aren't sycophants. It's difficult. And many people don't want to put up people who aren't sycophants. It's a problem. They'll just push them away and not talk to them, stuff like that. And also, you'll find that they don't want to take an L. And then what happens if they're not really libertarian? And they're kind of libertarian. Also a problem. So not impossible, but I'm not against it. But it's a challenge. It's a challenge, what I say. So yes, absolutely. So um, let's see here. Um, Karen says, the best thing we do today is command a presence and respect in New York State. So that 2024, when we ask for their vote, we have some tangible credibility. I agree too. I completely agree. Yes, Justin says we have the best memes. It's kind of true. I think it's kind of true. That's, that's kind of true. Yes. John Gunther says, Long Island has a lot of opportunity, I believe, just figuring out how we take the opportunity and push position in 2024. Yes, I, th that's what I think. Yes. Yep. Not me, says the LPNY needs to bring small L libertarians. Also, we need to focus on local elections. We develop lobbyists who influence elected officials. The lobbyist part's hard for us, right? It's difficult because we have to raise money to get the lobbyists, right? That's the problem. Are there enough hired guns who would do what we ask them to do? Yeah, of course. But the question is, how do we find enough money and then lobbyists that we trust um, to make it happen? It's I think, yes, that would be good for the LP in general. It's just challenging to do. Again, it's also a hard thing. And what I would say is, unless we're able to, to get ballot access and to have a real good 2024 and 2026, the odds of that are, are slim to none. If we can't raise half a million dollars, I, I don't think it's possible. Dwayne would be right then, right? I hope Dwayne's wrong, but he would be right then. And then it wouldn't matter from my view, would it? Absolutely. So, yes. So, um, yes, Andrew says, yes, he's correct. Committee on, va um, on vacancies as appearing on the petition would fill any vacancies following a named candidate but on the petition declining. Correct. Yes, that's how we would do it. So if I need to be that person, I'm happy to be that person. And then I'll, I would just, you know, I don't want to say specifically. But anyway, yes, he is correct. What would happen? 100%. Yes, that is exactly right. Yes. Um, where, I, where am I here? Um, not me goes, small L's won't support the NYLP. It's actually LPNY because of the politics and policies of the party. Focus on local elections until local libertarians get in office and then policies start giving people a reason. Here, here's the problem, right? You, you have a valid point, but we lost even our most popular local elections this, this year. We lost a lot of popular local elections, right? We lost Marshall Burt. We lost, um, Jeff Hewitt. So we lost them. Why? We don't, we're not popular enough to where stuff gets tough. When it gets tough like this, we don't have the popularity to move forward. We don't have it yet. We don't have the infrastructure yet. We don't have it. We've got to push that aspect. We have to. And sadly, this is a popularity contest. That's what it is. This is a pop. I, I wish it was the best person or the smartest guy or the savviest person or whatever, or the best looking person. Any of those things would be, it's not. It's who's the most popular. That's literally what these elections are. So, yes. George says, have you considered running as independent? Libertarian Party is too John Birch Society and MAGA. You are smarter than them. L libertarianship is sinking. You know, I have thought of this. Of course I have, George. I mean, Republicans want me to run as Republican. Of course I've thought of all these things. Of course I have. The problem that I have is twofold. One, the independent parties have no infrastructure. Libertarian Party has a weaker infrastructure than, than Republicans and Democrats, obviously but it still has an infrastructure. So I'd want to have some form of infrastructure, wouldn't I? Right, Dwayne's mad at me now, but if we get ballot access in 2024, he will be like, damn, Larry, you were right. He'd be my buddy in 2025 again. So it's fine. So we'll make it happen. If I'm wrong, I'll be kissing his butt for 2025, whatever. But we have an infrastructure. 
And a lot of places don't have that. And we do need that, number one. And I would argue in New York State, the Republican Party is sinking in New York State. And again, I can't speak for other states. I can speak for this state. Libertarian Party isn't sinking. We took a massive blow this year. That's true. But we're not sinking. I mean, we took a, we took a, and the fact that we were so hammered this year is because we were growing. So would I consider independent? I would. I mean, look, would I, would I consider another party? I would consider it, but is it going to be libertarian enough for me? Is it going to have infrastructure? If I just wanted to win something, if that was the goal, I'd run as a Democrat here in New York City, right? If I win the primary, no one, Republicans in most places in New York City don't even bother running. So it's unopposed. You fight, you go far left, you win a primary, and then you're the, the nominee. If I just wanted to win something, I would do that. But I don't think that's what I'm trying to achieve. So hopefully, it's, I don't know if, I know I'm a lot of uh, things I'm saying, some you don't like, but I hope at least you understand why I'm saying it, what I think. Hope that's something at least. So yes. Luther is saying, I'm already working on submitting um, ranked choice voting legislation to the assembly. Oh, thank you, brother Luther. You are killing it. Thank you, by the way, for showing up as many times as you showed up. I appreciate that. Also working to have it in Washington in time for 2024 as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, Ryan says, Missouri LP, you'll need to be doing bi-weekly fundraising until election 2024. Yes, absolutely, yes. Morgan says, donating to Larry Sharp is donating to the Liberty Movement, all money well spent. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that, Morgan. Yes, yes. So he's right. Copy what he says. He's right. Do that. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. Um, uh, let's see if I can keep going down here. Not me says, why aren't we creating it on media networks? I am trying. <laughs> Sadly, it's not working so well. Yes. Jim says, you're, you're to LPNY what Trump is Republicans, lol. I thought you liked me, Jim. Why are you insulting me? <laughs> I'm kidding. But there is, there is, you know, I think there is some of that, right? There are a lot of people in New York State, because I traveled it so much, that only know of libertarianism because they saw me at some event or watched me on some show. I think that is true in New York State. Most people know me, know libertarians because of that. I think a lot of people do. Not all, obviously. Many people are libertarians way before I was. So, but I do think there's a bunch of people who are that way. There's a, there's a chunk of libertarians across New York State who are support me over the party. There's a chunk. I don't know how big that chunk is. Who are like, oh, I like Larry Sharp. I don't care about libertarians. I like Larry Sharp. I think you find that also with some people who like Trump. They don't care about the Republican Party. They just like Trump. There's a chunk of that. I don't know what that percentage is, though. I can't tell you, to be fair with you. I don't know. Um, Morgan says, TikTok is how you get Gen Z. I am on TikTok. I'm not that good at it. I got to get better at TikTok. So, yes, absolutely. Uh, Dinick says, for any campaign, money is always needed. Dollars control the world. Even church depend on money because their God cannot provide. It's actually funny. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So, look, I know many of you have donated in the past. And that's fine. I, I'm glad you are. Some of you are still donating. I'm asking for 10 bucks a month for 18 months. That's what I'm asking for. If you're already doing it, you're good. If you're not doing it, please do so. If you are doing more and you can afford it, please do more if you can afford it. I know some of you are in good spots. Some of you aren't. Wherever you are, it's great. If you can't do any of it, then as you see me cross the state again, show up to those events. Put your butt in that seat if you can. It does matter. As many people show up in those events, it motivates people to do stuff. It absolutely does. And number two, share everything that's happening for every candidate running in 2023. Share, share, share. Share the stuff that I'm doing as I'm out there running for stuff. As you see me out there making events, please do that. And don't just share it in social media. Share it also in the mainstream media too. Let people know we're doing things. That's what I want to do. So yes, absolutely. 100%. All right. My ego is not after three campaign losses. If anything, it's, it's boosted. You know, Joe, guys like you and I and others who've done this, it does show you that a lot of people can't take it, right? An ego is tough, right? It's difficult for someone to do this, to accept the loss and that you let people down. That's the hardest part for me is letting people down, right? A lot of people wanted more from me. I get it. I take responsibility for that and I'm trying to fix it. You might go, well, Larry, is that personal? Yes, it is. Guilty as charged. Yes, it's personal. I want to try to fix this thing. So I don't want to sit back and allow another plan that I think won't work. 
because I want to fix this. I've done that before. It didn't work. So I'm doing it this way now. And some of you won't like it. Some of you don't like what I did last time. Some of you still aren't going to like it no matter what I do. Some of you just mad because I don't like Larry Sharp being in charge of stuff. All right, then you be in charge then. <laughs> That's your other option then. You'd be more popular than me. This is a pop. This is literally a popularity contest. That's what it is. Be more popular than me. You win. That's literally how it is. You win. And I won't even fight you. If you're more popular than me, you, there won't be a contest. I will happily walk away. Let me say it again. If you're more popular than me, I won't even fight you. I will just walk away. I, I will bow to your popularity and I will walk away. That's what I will do. You, I won't even fight you. I will happily go back to work. So, yes, absolutely. Once I totally agree with you. Starting now, we need to strive for about access. We can grow as a party. We can't grow with a party without it. Yes. We can totally get 75,000 signatures for 2024. I think we can too. I agree with you, Juan. I think it's the right answer. If we get enough cash, enough people excited, we can do it. I do think we can do it. Yes. I think you're right. I agree with you completely. Yes. So it says, hey, Larry, do you think Elon's libertarian? Um, I think he has leanings. That's what I'll say. I don't think he's a libertarian, but I think he has leanings. I think if he spent some time with us, he might become one. But he has leanings. That's what I would say. Yes, he has leanings. I'm not sure. Would but look, if Elon Musk wants to run for president as a libertarian, I'm open to the idea. I mean, he could. He might lose the nomination, but if he wants to run. Yes, yes, and yes. I don't know if he can win. I mean, he'd have money. He could probably buy them. Or bribe his way in. I don't know, maybe I'm changing my mind on that one. In theory, I will say that I'd love for him to at least run for nomination. The amount of press we'd get would be out would be insane. So yes, absolutely. So Shelly says, how how do you teach little people like me to lobby for us? You know what? That's a very good question. Maybe that's something the, the LPNY should be doing too. It's not my skill set. But I'm sure there are people who can do it. It's a good question, Shelly. Now I gotta rethink that. My team is watching. Guys, we gotta work on this. This is, we have to work on this. this is, we need a plan for this. You are correct, Shelly. We have to have a plan for this. Yes. Paul says the L, I think the LP needs a Sheldon Adelson only living in libertarian. I would agree. The sad part is, and this is that people don't always realize, we we burn our donor base out sometimes because we don't have a win. We often promise wins, which is why I was very forward with um. Was it Morgan? I've forgotten who, who asked, you know, can, are we going to win? Was it Joseph? I've forgotten who had asked. And I said, no, 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 no. I'm not promising a win because if I promise a win and I don't get it, now all my donors are pissed off. I'm promising ballot access. That's what I'm promising. We have to be able to promise things that we can actually deliver. That's the issue. And we often don't. We, prom we over promise. We ask people to give people money and then they give us money and then they fail. Right. In the end of my campaign, I was only asking, I, I was my only thing was let's get ballot access. At that point, I knew I couldn't win. So I didn't want to lie and go, I'm gonna win. I wasn't gonna win. I knew that. I was hoping to get ballot access though. So yes, we do need one. Um, but the other issue is again, that person then has to put money into a pack, then it becomes dark money. So we have some of that too. So yes, there's an issue. So um Kathy says, here's a playoff Benjamin suggestion of a famous person and combine it with Morgan suggestion to hit TikTok. Maybe not have them run, but support. I agree. If we had a couple of, of heavy to supporters, that's the Paul's idea. I love the idea. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. Um, Ryan says, raising money to get the liberty message out, whether it be media or policy, is the best move forward. Agreed. Right? Agreed. And to be forward, if I can get this happening for people to care, I can get back in the media again to do both to push all the issues, right? To push everything forward. That's what I would want to do, right? Yes. Statistical inference says it doesn't matter what your policy is if you don't have infrastructure or ballot access, it won't matter. Agreed. This is why, you know, earlier, I forgot who asked, said, you know, have you thought of running independent? Of course I've thought of it. Again, again, I, I try to put everything in my head to think about what makes the most sense. But I want to have infrastructure and ballot access. And very often the Libertarian Party has been broken. It is now too, but it's still the best vehicle we have. It's still the best vehicle we have. It's still the best vehicle that we have. Absolutely. So, yes. All righty. Um, let's see here. Uh, -uh. Kathy says Bert didn't really charge for re-election. I think there was a sense of ac acceptance since he did a good job and he had a personal event that caused a speed bump. Yeah. Look, I, I, I love Marshall Bert. 
Um, I wish he had won again. I, I talked to him last week. Um, I wish he had won in Wyoming. I think he's a good man. I think he was great at what he did. But yeah, the, the deck was stacked against him to the earlier point. Lack of infrastructure, lack of cash, lack of everything. I mean, it was just, it was really, it was, it, everything was stacked against him. It really was. Uh, but I think he was great. I wish he was able to, to do better. I wish he was. So, absolutely. Um, let's see here. Um, Paul goes on to say, I hate to sound money grubby, but the LP needs cash. Yes. With enough money, Larry, you would have won, and the GOP knows it too. Agreed. 100%. Agreed. I agree completely. Yes. That, that's how it works. So, there we go. Uh, Christmas says, Spike Cohen's last Larry Shop 2028 will be a dream team and president to run. I'm not against 2028. Maybe. But not 2024. Maybe. Not 2024. Yes. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Morgan, Larry Shop's so agreeable. Yes. I agree. 100%. Well, why wouldn't I be, Morgan? Why wouldn't I be? If we're on the same page, let's be on the same page. So, yeah. Andrew says, Elon Musk was born in South Africa. Is not eligible to run for president? Well, I don't know. Ted Cruz born in Canada. They play that game whenever they want to play that game. Andrew. They change the rules and ignore that stuff when the time comes. So, I don't know. Yes. Sam says, there are many people who would use government position to force people into what they think is best. Lie wants us to be free. Be like, lie. oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I really do. Yes. Um, one user says, we need to focus on dense population centers in New, in, in New York for the sake of signatures. Buffalo, New York City, Long Island, Westchester. I agree. We did not do a good job of this time. We did not. Um, and many of those, and many of, um, much of that was the, the issue of, of cash. I was un, I was, I found myself in a very tough financial situation and I had to use people that I probably shouldn't have used and I had to do things that I probably shouldn't have done. So you are correct. I take responsibility in my mistake. Yes, absolutely. So, um, let's see here. Um, Dwayne says, did you promise about us in 2022? I tried to, Dwayne. I did. Broken promise. Yes, I tried to. Broken promise. Yes. Joe says, Lipstream Moon has a lot of small pockets of media. Free Talk Live, Region Sharp by Kennedy, Money Waters. Money. We have a couple of the, but when it comes to mainstream, the closest thing we have is Kennedy, which by the way, I'll be on her show tomorrow night. But yes, that's the closest thing we have is Kennedy. I wish we had more of them, Joe. I wish we had more mainstream ones, right? That's really what's important. So yes. <laughs> here we go. All right. Um, let's see here. All right. Oh, Dwayne, you beat me up. All right, look, I'll take the punches. I don't mind. Larry said he had the, the Ford Unite party. He didn't. He said he had 4,000 signatures. He didn't. He said he'd been in the ballot. He wasn't. It's another bad strategy. Um, you're correct with all those things. I take responsibility for all of them. Um, I was, uh, I still had the Ford party. That that part's incorrect. Ford party still absolutely endorsed me, did endorse me, still stands by me to this day. So that part, you ain't correct. I did have the Ford party. Unite party, put a knife in my back. What am I going to do? It happens. Um, I rolled the dice hoping, and I explained why in one of my other videos, what I was trying to, it didn't work. I did believe I had 45,000 signatures. You weren't there, um, Dwayne, but we had 5,200 sheets of paper. Um, and I believed we had over 50,000 signatures. I did believe that. We didn't have a chance to count them. We were so broken, we couldn't count them in time. We almost didn't make it um, to, to uh, submit them. So the didn't part's true, except for forward. I did have and still have. Unite, put a knife in my back. What are you going to do? And the signatures I believed I had. So yes. And I thought I'd be on the ballot. I did not believe that the that we could lose nine times in a row. So yeah, all wrong. You're correct. The only issue is I'm trying to fix it. That's what I'm taking responsibility for mine, for my losses. That's what I'm doing. So if you're not behind me, okay, don't be behind me. You don't have to if you don't want to be. Up to you. I'm not forcing you to do anything. If you got a better plan, do it. Good luck. I hope people follow you. But I think you're wrong. I think my plan can and will work. The difference is I learn from my mistakes. And I do it publicly. You all watch me fall down. You literally all watch me fall down. So, yes. Anyway, I hope that answers your question again. I know you don't believe it, but hope you at least get it. So, yes. 
Um, let's see here. Ryan says, I love Kennedy on Fox Business. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Yes, that is great. Yes. Um, where am I? All right. All right. I think I covered most of those things. Good. Paula, um, you ran a great campaign, Larry. Uh, not sure I would say that. I tried my best is what I would say. The judges just, I don't know, the corruption of the New York courts and judges that did, did you and your team in. That's accurate. That's 100% accurate. We, 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 the system was tough. I wasn't prepared to fight the system as much as I thought I could. I didn't think it would be that much against us, but it was. Um, I think that's really where we were. I hope we will, I hope we will change that in the future. I hope we can do better. The reality of this is we have to fix this. I think this is the best way of fixing it. Um, I hope the LPNY is behind me 100%. I guess so. They're not. I get it. If you're not, I get it. You'll do what you feel is best. I think this is the right answer. I think supporting what I'm doing is the right answer. Um, I don't think anybody else in New York State could do it next year. Or by 2024, I don't think it's possible, except for that. I think anything else is is just going to make us do things like try to win local elections and eventually lose them the next year. We have been doing we have been doing the non we have been doing the local grassroots thing for 50 years, gaining and losing, gaining and losing, gaining and losing. We made the most impact in this state ever when I ran in 2018, um, and because of that. Again, shame on me for this. The, their attacks on, on me this year were far stronger than I thought were going to happen. And I was not prepared for them. Okay. Took an ass whipping. Got it. Um, but again, now we come back. We do it the right way. You guys, some of you I know are, are upset saying, well, wait a minute, Larry, why is this about you? Because it has to be because of New York state law. And you can be mad at me about that if you want to. I try to change it. I lost my, I, I literally lost trying to change it. I, and I spent my own time and my own money trying to change it. So, yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, so, not me. I'm not making the rules up. That's how it is. That's the thing is right. If you don't believe me, go ahead. If you're mad at me because you're, you're mad because you don't like me being in charge, Okay, then you take over and you be in charge then. Be more popular and I'll walk away. I'm not, I'm, and I'm saying it publicly. I'm not making that up. This isn't a threat. Don't threaten me with being more popular than me. That's not a threat. That's a good thing. If you can find, to the earlier point, if you can find some popular New Yorker who can come in here and, and, and do better than me, I will happily walk away and give it up to them and be with them and support them in any way possible. I will happily do that. And I'm saying it publicly in front of all of you. So it's not like I can back out of that, right? I would absolutely do it, 100%. So anyway, um, for those of you who want to keep taking a dump on me, please go ahead. It doesn't matter. You think you're hurting me. You're just getting more interaction and I'm getting more, more sh so please do what you feel is appropriate. You're not hurting me at all. But And I'm putting you on, so it doesn't bother me. But please go ahead if you want to. It doesn't matter. The reality of it is, this is the right plan. I hope you guys will get behind me. I'm going to be back out again next year. I'm going to be back out in the media coming up here, a couple shows uh, coming up here and a couple more shows coming up here again. I'm going to get myself back out there again so that I can push this idea. Popularity, sadly or not, is the answer. There is no other answer but popularity. I will try to be as popular as I can be. I think that's the only answer. If we're more popular, people pay attention. If we're not, they don't. I wish it was because we're smart or right or correct. It's not that. It's popularity. I need to be, ha make a third party happen. And it has to happen in this state. If it doesn't, there's nothing else. Local elections, while important in 2023 and 2025, in my view, we disagree, not in 2024. 2024, all that matters is us getting ballot access. It is a pass or fail, a win or lose, and nothing else. That's all that matters in 2024. If we get, even if we would get, I don't know, win, win the Senate in 2024. If we did that, that'd be awesome. We'd lose it in six years, be in, in, ineffective, and the party still wouldn't grow because we still wouldn't have ballot access. So even, I mean, we're not going to send it, but even if we did. But we can just get 130,000 votes or 2% in 2024 and set everybody up for serious wins in 2025. Serious wins. 
in 2025. We can change this state in 2025 and 2026 too, 100%. That's what we can do. To do that, three things. Well, two phases, phase number one, raise half a million dollars by April 1st. To do that, I need 10 bucks a month from each of you if you can do it. If you're already doing it, awesome. Life is good, you're already good. If you're not, please do more. If you can do more, if you are in a spot where you can do 25, 50, please do so. LarryShop.com slash donate. If you want to, as Kevin has mentioned, pick up some merch. Please, that's nice to pick up merch. I like it, but not required. Please pick up merch if you want to. But piece two, if you can't do 10 bucks or if you, if you do in addition to, show up at the events that are popping up. As the events pop up, it does matter. Please show up, put your butt in that chair if you can, buy a Coke or a beer or a burger or whatever. Show up at the event. It does matter if you can. And again, we'll have more events starting in, in March. And three, share this everywhere, but not just on social media. Share it in regular media. Let people know when I'm out there. Let people know when I'm doing events. Let people know who are running locally in 2023, where they're running, what they're doing, events they're doing. Let people know. The more people who know about our, our 2023 candidates and then our 2024 presidential candidate, the better we are going to be. That is the key. If we do that, we can make a lot of stuff happen. I really think we can. I appreciate all of you. Please stay with me. I know I've asked a lot of you from many of you over these past five years. I know. And I'm asking it again. I hope you guys stay. I'm asking again. I am still doing it. <laughs> for good or for bad. I'm still doing it. As always, I can't put my finger at you. i supporting at me first. So I pointed at me first. Now I'm pointing at you. Help me out to the best of your ability. Guys, thank you so much for today. I will see you all very soon.